Hey everybody, Maximati15 and 16 here, back again with another Thomason Railway review. So today, I will be reviewing Duke. So let's go ahead and get into it. Duke was first introduced in in uh, Season 4. Now, with all the other Narragage engines, I really forget the episode titles that, his that he was in, but um, you guys probably know him better than I do. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, with Duke, he was first introduced in 1997. So, um... Duke, I believe, was one of the first narrow gauge engines to be released in the wooden railway for some reason. But, um, yeah, anyway, looking at the old style Duke here. Um, now, one thing I want to get into is that the newer Duke was my childhood Duke. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. So, this is why this one holds a lot of nostalgia for me. Anyway, this Duke, of course, has a very small, low cab for some reason. But, of course, you can see that. He actually has the wooden railway, or not wooden railway, but just wooden domes, or I guess dome and safety valve, whichever one's which. So, um, anyway, you can see Duke here, he has these molded handrails, or not molded, I guess carved in wood, I don't know. I don't really know the correct terminology, but Duke here, of course, this Duke is, um, this one looks, this face looks a lot like his season 4 face, or pretty much just the TV series Duke in general. So, um, yeah. Anyway, with Duke here, of course, he has barely any detail. He is probably one of the most simplistic items of all time in the wooden railway. I mean, just look at that. Just this little bit of lining here instead of the all of this lining over here on the 2005 version. So, Duke here, his tender is actually really interesting. So, of course, it actually has more detail than Duke himself, which is pretty funny. But I do like the coal load here, but one thing that really annoys me is that it's called Duke's Coal Car. I don't like that. However, I mean, I guess you could use it as a coal car or a mining car or something if you wanted to. But yeah, I don't really know. Uh, whatever. So it's just a really strange thing. But I mean, really, that's all I have to say about Duke. I mean, I love his personality. Um, I think he's really cool. I really do want him to return as well, even though I think Boko is better, uh, which is very unpopular. But yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the more detailed, I think, better version of Duke. So, this is his 2005 version, as he was um, made for a limited release. Now, Duke was one of the first wooden railway models I ever got for Christmas of 2009, I believe. This Duke, I'm surprised, is in such good condition, at least for my standards, at least on one side. But, um, as you can see here, I actually redid the eyebrows and colored in the mouth, and I was really young. So, yeah. Anyway, Duke, of course, has his nameplate, and his, uh, the, these, uh, handrails are actually silver, and they're painted on, which I think looks better, to be honest, so, yeah. Of course, Duke's boiler is funnily shaped, as I don't really think that we have another, um, wooden railway model with this kind of shaped boiler. So, that's just one thing to note. Of course, his cab is taller, and I do believe that makes him look a bit, uh, a bit more realistic. However, with Duke here, I do believe that he's too long. I think, um... I think with all of the narrow gauge engines, they should have been as short as, I don't know, Millie or something, but I just think that would enhance this Duke 100%. So of course he has these uh, brownish painted tubes on the side, I believe those are steam pipes, but I'm not sure. He also has this uh, piston detail, of course as you can see here. I don't believe he has any lining around the cab in the show, but he definitely doesn't here on the one railing model. So of course there's nothing on the back, except for a lot of scratches. And so on the other side here, it's pretty much the same thing. So Duke's face, I believe that they made this Duke in general because of after, I believe around season eight or season nine, they remade Duke for some reason. They took Barkham's model and repainted it back into Duke. However, they used like the wrong coat. They, they used the wrong shade of brown or whatever. And it just looked really ugly. And they used it for a lot of promotional art. And that model is actually now owned by Twitter user Thomas Tank Merch, so go check out him and just look at his Duke model on Twitter. So yeah, anyway, I believe that's why, because they actually made new face masks, I believe they made two, but uh, this is based off of the 2005 face mask. And even though they repainted Duke and everything, they still didn't use him ever again. I don't know why, I mean... You had your whole opportunity right there. You had the model and everything. You just needed, you just needed to write an episode about him, but they didn't. So that still infuriates me to this day. But I mean, Duke is a really simplistic model, even even his newer version, which is really nostalgic for me. But yeah. 
anyway i believe that's pretty much it for duke so thank you all for watching and have a great day max and lucky 15 and 16 signing